my dear friends welcome to renewal fire we have been reflecting about the working of the holy spirit the working of the holy spirit has great help in our christian life in our christian life is a life in the spirit the spirit helps us various ways the holy spirit helps us and so we are going to reflect one by one how this fire renew our life so as i said in the last episode although we recognize holy spirit as symbolically as fire as water as wind as down all these are symbolics of the holy spirit but holy spirit is a person person this personality must be understood and it is not easy to understand because we have been always thinking about holy spirit as a power power but this is where the mystery is hidden which jesus revealed through his incarnation a mystery according to saint paul he says the mystery hidden in ages was those earlier ages in earlier time it was not revealed it was revealed only when the son of god became man and dwelt among us and he began to proclaim the mystery filled with the spirit so we can see jesus as a person in him is another person that is the holy spirit as a person so that is why they both come from father jesus come from father holy spirit come from father and also holy spirit come from father and jesus therefore this personality of holy spirit is the important fact which is a matter of faith particularly in the new testament john paul the second explained about this personality in his various encyclicals dominum vivificandum as i often used to say and apart from that he expressed this in some of the teachings one teaching relating to mother mary john paul the second taught the virginal conception in the virginal conception we can see in a very very beautiful way but yet it is uh, only through the help of holy spirit you will understand that this is a teaching saint john paul ii pope given in 1990 april 18 so those who want to draw it out from the website you can go to the teaching of saint john paul ii of april 18 1990 the spirit's special presence in the blessed virgin mary i am not reading everything that will be too difficult for you to grasp only this aspect of the personality of holy spirit as taught by john paul the second in the teaching of the church it begins with let us reflect once more on the passage from luke it describes and documents god's very personal relationship with the virgin mary to whom his messenger communicates to call to be mother of the messiah the son of god by the power of the holy spirit so to whom his messenger communicates to call to be mother of messiah the son of god by the power of the holy spirit so mary became 
the mother of god mother of the messiah through the power of the holy spirit so here itself our theme is very strongly he uh, implicating the working of the holy spirit it is the holy spirit which worked in mary to make mary as the mother of messiah and the mother also the mother of god on the one hand god communicates himself to mary in the trinity of persons three persons in the trinity of persons which christ one day will make more clearly known in their unity and distinction they are one the trinity three persons they are one but they are three distinct person in the sense father is not the son son is not the father see the distinction and father and son are not or is not the holy spirit so this is another big thing to learn about the trinity in catechism in paragraph 254 or around that you can hear that teaching but now i go forward about the person so from that we understand father is a person jesus is a person holy spirit is a person the third person of the trinity so there is a unity and distinctity distinct nature the angel gabriel in fact announces to her to mary that god's will and grace she will conceive and bear him who will be acknowledged to be the son of god and that will happen by the power that is by virtue of the holy spirit so the angel gabriel proclaimed this announced this that mary you will conceive so we know that when angel gabriel told this to mary it was something like a shock to her rather like a when angel gabriel said to mary that the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore he who is to be born will be called holy the son of god luke 135 luke 135 when angel announced the first that she will bear a son she will be conceived then mary said how this will happen i do not know a person i do not know a man take that point this is what saint john paul ii is focusing when mary said i do not know a man i do not know here means i have not yet began to to live with a man i am only betrothed mary is express i am only betrothed with joseph i am not yet married i am not yet began to live with him so angel gabriel said as if in direct answer to her question i do not know a man i do not know a person gabriel said yes i know a person who is that person the third person of the trinity the holy spirit he is going to come upon you he will overshadow you it is from him you will conceive that is the point mary it's written here the holy spirit who by overshadowing her will cause her to be the human mother of this child the term holy spirit please not specially this is a teaching of the church teaching of pope john paul ii in 1990 april 18 the term the holy spirit resounds in mary's soul a person's name a person's name that is a new that's a new element compared to the tradition of israel and the writings of the old testament 
I am reading this exactly from the test because it is to make an authenticity that it is from the teaching of the most holy Catholic Church. Once again, the Holy Spirit resounds, the Holy Spirit resounds in Mary's or the tame Holy Spirit in Gabriel's word, the tame Holy Spirit resounds in Mary's soul as a person's name. That is, that is a new element compared to the tradition of Israel and the writings of the Old Testament. And it is in anticipated revelation for her who is allowed to share in what is least a dim perception of the mystery of the Trinity. My dear friends, now this aspect of the personality of Holy Spirit is a very important factor. The personality in our day-to-day -day life, this we have to relate. All our prayer, now the angel who says, Angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Mary conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the credo we recite, Mary conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and gave birth to child Jesus. So, all this word conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, at that time we must recognize a woman can be conceived only by a person and also she will conceive and bear a son a person he will bear a son now for the sake of our understanding i'm just telling don't be don't be unhappy about this expression mary conceived not from the fire mary conceived not from a dove Mary conceived not from pneuma, pneumatology, pneumatic, that is air, that is a symbol of Holy Spirit. Mary conceived not from water. So, whereas this fire, dow, air, water, they are all symbols of Holy Spirit, but Holy Spirit is a person. So, for an average and a normal people like us, isn't it easy to understand this teaching of Pope John Paul II? He says, when Gabriel came to Mary and said that you will conceive and bear a son. And then Mary said, how this will happen? I do not know a man or I do not know a person. Then Gabriel immediately said, yes. I am just adding, I know a person who is going to come upon you. I know a person who are already working in you. I know a person who is already living in you. Who is that person? The Holy Spirit. Because Mary's, Mary was born with the power of the Holy Spirit through and the immaculate as a, and therefore she is immaculate. The Holy Spirit is already working in Mary right from her birth, making her, preparing her to receive this pregnancy of holy of holy. A pregnancy from the holiness of God. A pregnancy from the Holy Spirit of God. So already, so Gabriel say, yes, I know a person <laughs> who will be working in you to make you conceive. Eh? Who is that? And when Gabriel said, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. St. John Paul to say the term, Holy Spirit will overshadow you and you will conceive. This term resounded in her heart. Who? Oh, a person. So the personality of Holy Spirit became very much impinged in the heart of Mary, in the soul of Mary 
and Mary might have immediately said, Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, come, I accept you. Come, Holy Spirit, or take control. This, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done into me according to your word. And now Mary conceived from the person Holy Spirit. Now for human understanding it is very clear. A pregnancy happened from a person Holy Spirit and therefore a person conceived is a person and the Son of God is going to be born. Now therefore now here we can imagine how great is the power of the working of the Holy Spirit. This is what I recognize. What is the working of the Holy Spirit? What a stupendous or mighty, astonishing, spectacular, incredible is the working of the Holy Spirit because it is the working of the Holy Spirit made conception in the womb of Mary, that is the second person, the invisible God, the second person, the word of the eternal son become a living human person, son of man. <sighs> Working of the Holy Spirit. This is an aspect of our faith. We believe, we say every day in the credo, I believe in, the, in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit, born from Virgin Mary. We, when we do, when we recite the credo, we do it very fast and we go forward. I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of God, conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit, born from Virgin Mary. So, there, what a big mystery we are proclaiming. The big mystery we are proclaiming in our faith is, it is not only the work of Mary, it is the work of the Holy Spirit. It is the work of the Holy Spirit is preparing Mary, that gift of faith to accept this. It is the work of the Holy Spirit to bring down in the womb of Mary, the second person of the Trinity, the eternal word, the eternal son, that invisible son, that invisible word become visible or become a reality in the womb of Mary, like any other human being is formed, with so much time of around nine months or ten months, that child began to grow. Without a human sperm, Mary conceived. So this is, let us, let us meditate that, the working of the Holy Spirit. Is there any other greater work we can see? The greater work is the immaculate conception and the incarnation, the mystery of incarnation, the mystery of incarnation that the Son of God becomes Son of Man, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born in Virgin, from Virgin Mary. So Virgin Mary, in the womb of Virgin Mary, Holy Spirit worked in making the eternal word of God, Son. The eternal Son of God, a human being. And so this way, many church fathers reflect on this aspect in a more profound way and very simply to understand in another way is to our heart. In our heart, we have to saw the word of God. We know the parable that 
Jesus said, kingdom of God is like seed planted. A seed planted. And how? And the one who plants the seed know not. He go and sleep and raise. He know not. But the seed sprout and grow. This is the same way if our heart, when our heart is that good soil, the seed planted will sprout and grow. That is the way kingdom of God grows. But what is the seed? Seed is the word of God. And when it, it grow as Jesus Christ. But who is working there? The Holy Spirit. So each one of us in our soul, our soul become like a, like a womb. Our soul is like a womb where the word is received and the Holy Spirit work in our heart, in our soul and our soul become, this is the word used by church fathers, our soul become pregnant by Holy Spirit. When our soul become pregnant by Holy Spirit, the Son of God is conceived there and that is Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, become a living personality in our soul. So the working of the Holy Spirit in our life has a lot of meaning in our human life. The same way Holy Spirit is working. The power of the Most High is overshadowing it and the word of God in our heart is transforming our life with the Holy Spirit and the Christ is born in us. That is what born again. Born again means when Jesus said unless you born again you will not enter into the kingdom of God means through baptism, a child who was born from flesh and blood from the earthly parents must be baptized in the Spirit. When he is baptized in the Holy Spirit, in his soul, this power of overshadowing, that is a person, Holy Spirit, take possession of that soul and in that soul, Christ is becoming conceived. Our soul become pregnant with Christ, pregnant with the word of God and our personality from our normal human personality is changed to child of God. We become child of God. Like the son of God, and the word of God through the work of the Holy Spirit become son of God. The same way every one of us, those who are baptized in our soul, the Holy Spirit work and the Holy Spirit make our soul pregnant with Christ and the word. And our life changes. We become a new creation. And we become child of God. Let us thank God. And let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us to understand the working of the Holy Spirit as a person. Holy Spirit is wind, is fire, is dove, as water. But they are all symbols. But... With all that symbols are depicting eventually a great mystery which is in the person Holy Spirit. O Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you. Help us to understand the mystery of the person Holy Spirit who is already in us. Fill us with that wisdom, knowledge and understanding. The mysteries of God, he makes known to me. The mysteries of God, 
he makes known to me the mysteries of God. He makes known to me. Amen.